I think I took a shit in my neighbor's uh, lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I love you, Matty Dean, and I need you, Matty Dean. Why did you leave me here without your love? Oh, bro, I'm hurting. a little before I came in. You got high before you came here? I was smoking all day. You can just be honest, dude. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I was smoking all day. Right I was going to say, that must be like weird, man, coming all the way here and then seeing me stoned. <laughs> That's going to be wild. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, if I was stoned and I saw me, I'd be like, what the fuck's going on, dude? Well, I needed a reason to like, yeah, we like, wow, this yeah. guy is something wrong with him. Like, oh, he's yeah, probably yeah. just really high. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, always, the beginning of podcasting is always pretty awkward, man. But do you feel like, do you feel more normal when you smoke weed? Like, yeah. Does it, does it bring you to like an equilibrium or? Yeah, I just smoke all day. <laughs> 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 and then when you, like, something's off, then you like just rip the bong and you're like, oh, that's what it was. It wasn't high. <laughs> you're like, you try jerking off, like, it wasn't that. <laughs> yeah, that's what like jerking off is for me, dude. I'm like, dude, I don't feel right, man. You yeah. know? And then I'll just spank one out and I'm like, dude, let's Bruh. get it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, that and like uh, Guns and Roses, dude. <laughs> As you whack it, <laughs> <laughs> like welcome to the jungle. Or like, <laughs> just pop one off, dude. I'm good to go, man. You know? Oh, yeah, man. man. That's life, though, dude. You just gotta find something that like brings you back to life, dude. You yeah. know what I mean? It literally. But, like when you're not feeling yourself, you're like, oh, dude, let's just go to the fucking. Let's go look at some tits, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? The like, best. yeah. The, I, I just love. Whoever's in the news, I'll just like Google. And it's not Google's not even good yeah. anymore. They got censored versions like Cardi B's pussy and asshole close up, and like <laughs> nothing comes up yeah. anymore. Yeah, you don't know if it's real or not. No, oh, yeah, yeah, they do the great like the neck fucking doubles or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I still I believe it. You know? Yeah, I got into that like back in the day, dude. Uh, you ever see a High School Musical? No, I, I know about <laughs> it. It's a good porno, dude. Oh, high school. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, all right. Dude, it was with, uh, you know who Zac Efron is, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was with uh, Zac Efron and uh, Vanessa Hudgens, dude. You know who that is? Yeah. Dude, she's like the hottest woman in the world, bro. And, uh, dude, after that movie, it was like a, a musical, dude, like that kids watched. Dude, right after, uh, nudes leaked of her. Uh, just her roast beef, dude. Oh. Bro, full bush, dude. Ooh. She was getting heat for it. I was like, dude, that's... That's respectable, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like when yeah. little details like that come out. You know what I mean? It's hot, you know? <laughs> yeah, because it's real, dude. You're yeah. like, damn, this is real life, man. Uh, Hope Solo. I have, like, Hope Solo, the soccer player. <laughs> <laughs> Her asshole. Like, you know, like you can fit, Her like, a asshole? quarter into a machine. Yeah, yeah. But like, you can fit the quarter sideways. Like, you know what really? I mean? That's how it gave wow. him open. I don't know if she was holding it open for the shot. Wow. Did you know for sure it was her, or was it just kind of like... Advertise that way. No, this was hers. Her, her news got leaked. You know really? what I mean? Like, Holy it shit. was like a nice asshole. Wow. The guy, uh, the fucking football player, Stevens, I think they might have broke up from domestic violence, but dude. But like wow. her asshole, Jennifer Lawrence. Like always, like mm -hmm. always think of like a coin operated machine. Wow. Like you put a like that looks like a slit. Like some of them are open that way. I'm like, did he did he do that to her, or was she just all natural? I, it looks beat up. <laughs> it's one of my first pictures of my yeah. this phone. So when I started saving. Mm -hmm. The, the camera reel Like it's like from 2014 Whatever yeah. it was And it's like, that's one of my first pictures Wow Cause I put like an eyeball Damn, on That would be one. tough if you opened up That at like the bank or something <laughs> <laughs> I do <man. laughs> uh, Cause that's, that's happened Dude I was on a date recently And I uh I accidentally opened up my my Google, bro. Oh, <laughs> it was man. not good. Yeah, I mean the date sucked, so I was like, "Fuck it, man. Who cares?" I think she was probably taking a shit anyway. <laughs> so oh <I> man, <laughs> coming in with luggage. What the fuck? Yeah, that's the worst feeling, man. When you open up Google and you're like, "Fuck, dude, I didn't delete." Anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like yeah. sometimes you know when you do the, it even feels dirty when you like clear history and it's like mm. all time and you're like all time. Yeah. Well, dude, when you clear history, it's like, dude, now it's not remembering me. You know, yeah, it doesn't yeah. know what I want. You yeah, know what I'm I saying? Know. So you just get heartbroken and you're like, whatever, man. Like <laughs> I'll just stick to this, bro. 
I don't think I'd have the nuts to do that, though, dude. Like, if a chick sent me, like, something personal and she dumped me, I don't know if I'd be able to show the boys, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It depends how bad it went, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Like an asshole pick, dude. <laughs> I'm like a sucker for that. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I, I always like, and I love women. You know, mm. this is coming from sincerity. Yeah, we, we respect women, dude. The appreciation of the mm. vagina and asshole of these, of yeah. these ladies. I'm not leaking them. It's I would never do that. All respect, dude. You know, yeah. but like, imagine like a yearbook style, not not high school, but just mm. that style with yeah. the picture, and then like a picture of their vagina <laughs> and asshole, and you could just get to really know yeah. them. You know what I mean? Like, open, yeah. like close. It says a lot about a person too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always I, like. Eh, it might sound creepy, but whatever. Like I look at a girl, and mm -hmm. like if I look like her, the wrinkle in her armpit mm -hmm. <laughs> and her belly button, and I, I, I imagine that's what a vagina <laughs> and a butthole <laughs> look like. <laughs> and I'll zoom in on pictures. I'm like, oh, that's what a gaping asshole Damn, looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never thought about it that way, dude. Yeah. Some girls I've been with, they got like. Uh, I think they would have too many vaginas then. No, I they know. would technically have like three vaginas. <laughs> I think they have a lot going on down there, you know, because it's correlation. That would be wild, dude. Imagine if a chick pulled her pants down, dude. She had three pussies. <laughs> Which one would you choose? I don't know, dude. <laughs> fuck, man. Imagine God's thinking, of, like, I'm high as fuck thinking about the armpit and the yeah. whole thing. Uh -huh. And he's like, yo, this motherfucker filled it, figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've, I've had like thoughts like that when I used to smoke weed. I'd be like, dude, you just figured out the universe. <laughs> and then I just forget like two minutes later. Yo, I'll be mad high at like the Nick game. Mm -hmm. Besides, A, watching the screen instead of the real game. <laughs> like I'm looking at CBS Sports to refresh my gambling pick. Yeah. But meanwhile, I'm at the game. The game's really happening. And I'm thinking like the phone's going to give me a quicker update. Yeah. Well, you know how, big I mean? is the, how big is the screen there? Is it like mesmerizing? It's, it's, no, it's just I'm retarded. I'm just <laughs> looking at the screen. I'm like, watch yeah. the game, you yeah, hear. Yeah. Dude, screens, man, screens will fuck you up, though, dude. <laughs> As a dude, like, I get so distracted by screens, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Especially when I go out, if a game's on, oh. there could be like 400 tits around me, and I would just be like, dude, I'm emotionally invested in this game, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but. What, uh, what's your team? I don't even think I have a team right now, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, man, I grew up watching Tom Brady, and, like, even when he got traded, I was just watching him on the Bucks. Yeah. Uh, you know? And I just, I couldn't stop watching him, dude. I just followed him into the <laughs> fucking mist, dude. And now I think everyone just kind of misses him, dude, but I can't even, like, wa dude, I've been watching college football now, because I'm like, I can't watch, you know, uh, the NFL. I gotta watch like five minutes of Patriots and this is fucking boring shit, dude. <laughs> Mac Jones, <laughs> Bill Belichick. I'll just imagine like the field blowing up, dude. You know what I mean? And I'm yeah, like, all right, yeah. well, this is fun, dude. You know? Uh, which is cool. Definitely screenshot a lot of Giselle. Googled a lot of Giselle. Yeah. Uh, I like. Her. Now that she's divorced, man. Uh, dude, the yeah. video just came out with her, man. It was pretty emotional. What? Dude, she fucking uh, came out of the closet. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just had a roadblock, but. Uh, when we were talking about weed, dude, I was going to tell you, man, I just completely forgot, almost as if I was high, dude. But, uh, dude, the last time I smoked weed, well, this is one of the reasons I stopped smoking weed, dude. Uh, I went to a bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true story, dude. My buddies, they go inside, and I meet them in there, and I'm like, inconsolably stoned. So I'm walking into the bowling alley, dude. <laughs> this, uh, this mentally challenged kid runs into me <laughs> as you're bowling no as i'm walking into uh, the bowling alley yeah, yeah. like bumps into me i almost fall down and then i look at him and i'm like dude <laughs> you know you can't do anything no, you know like i'm not gonna say yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like there's no i was like there's no fucking way that just happened <laughs> and then i i ended up telling my buddies what happened and they start laughing. The next thing you know, we're trying to order shoes, and we're just like laughing our asses off. <laughs> this guy's like, "What size do you want?" I'm like crying, laughing, dude. But it was wild, man. When that happened, it was like one of those moments where you're like, "There's no fucking way that just happened." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, the, the bowling alley attracts. 
certain of the type of people, man. <laughs> yeah. Last time I went, I, a couple of my friends that were talking. <laughs> I go, I'm like, where are all they? They got to go. I, they're outside smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Two of them, it was raining out. They're uh. standing outside in their socks. <laughs> and one guy had the shoes on. And it just looked weird in the rain in between oh, cars smoking cigarettes. Like, this is like a league or just like casual? Just like a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> and, they're, and instead, they're like, oh, I can't take the shoes outside. Yeah. So they, they're out there in their socks in the rain smoking cigarettes. Like, so it attracts a certain time of yeah, fucking dude. idiot. Yeah, man. If I was, if I was in a... If I was bowling at all in general like at my age it's over you know it's over dude you know what i mean yeah. i'm telling the boys you know like i'm done it's just a place i would never go you know what i mean yeah. it's almost like a casino for like most you know like when you see your boys at like the slot machines every night it's over for them dude you know for me like bowling's like that i don't know why dude. <laughs> Honestly, bowling could be super fun. It's just like how I think. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, do you have a place like that where you're like, dude, if you ever see me there, it's over. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Like, my, my thing recently, because I'm a fat fuck, like, <laughs> like I, I went into the pizzeria, and I was like, hey, can I just look at the pizza to the guy? <laughs> and I did that the other night. Monday, I was on Bell Boulevard for a show. And, like, this world-famous bakery or whatever, and I went across the You street. were asking if you could just look at, like, the display case? I, just, I did, like, a once and a back, <laughs> and then not even buy anything. You didn't buy anything, dude? No, nah, I'm Shit. trying to be good, man. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, that's powerful, man. I would uh, be able to do I'd that. Probably dude. crack later on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pizza is fucking crazy, man. Oh, the best. <clears throat> you you got to crack at pizza, dude. And uh, Rhode Island probably got are you sh Are you shredding the gym at all? Like, what are you doing? No, I've been going. This is two years of a trainer. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I, just, I mean, like, like, you're not dying, dude. No, no, I got How old are you right now? <sighs> What's the. What? 42. Oh, dude. You're crushing it, bro. <laughs> you're breathing, dude. Like, are you like a fucking. I can see you being like a fucking tank, dude. Uh, I. I'm strong. It's yeah. just like, I can't stop eating. Yeah, that's tough, man. <laughs> and I'm doing, like, a bunch of stressful, like, grown-up shit right now. And yeah. comedy. And, like, you have a good set. You're like, I deserve this fucking McDonald's. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it's just bad reward. Oh, dude, yeah, man. I used to be like that, dude. Like, I used to fucking... I would train, like, an NFL fucking linebacker, dude. And then I would just eat, like four bagels and fucking take like seven shit yeah, yeah, yeah i eat a lot of fire but i'm drinking the olipop metamucil yeah. so yeah. are tough. you like a are you a full-time chef no. or you just have that show just for like oh the co we cook show <laughs> TV. No, just that's for fun bro you look like a legit chef dude yeah i just yeah. i just thought it'd be funny with the jordan shorts <laughs> in the top <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude! You should start telling people you're legit. Yeah, they think so. Yeah. <laughs> like this guy's fatty. Start that doing on. like fake meal prep stuff, dude. Just charge like forty bucks for like one meal, dude. But like Fuck. going to the trainer, like I had to stop the edibles, even though I ate them last night. And like I would go there, and I wouldn't realize. So I'm walking in, and like there's like chocolate stains on my shirt, like melted sugar from like donut, like. Yeah. And like I think he sees it, and then like he would just abuse me on the, like the row machine. Oh like, wow! So I'm putting the work in, but like. Yeah. Fucking. You think one he's step a forward. Good trainer step. though, dude. Yeah. yeah. Some trainers kind of piss me off, man. You know, it's just like some woman with like raisinette tits. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> like, my tits are, like, bigger than hers, and yeah. she's, like, hasn't eaten in, like, 30 days. <laughs> She'll just take, like, her clients to each machine and be like, all right, let's get it. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, you know, yeah, mix, yeah. like, do some real shit, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> I uh, I had two instances with trainers before hmm. this guy a couple years back. My yeah. one buddy from childhood, we were yeah. working out. He got mm -hmm. a job. Yeah. I showed up one day. He's like, I told you I'm working. I'm like, okay. And then I just haven't spoken to him since. You know what I mean? Like years of childhood, and like, what? and his name's Bagel. And Damn. I have the Bagel store stored as breakfast. And sometimes I'm really high, and I'm like ordering breakfast. Yeah. I'll call him, and I just hang up. But it's not the Bagel store. So that's his last name. Damn, you haven't talked to him since at all. No. Fuck, man. Oh, except for when he, he goes hello, and I hang up on him, and it's not the <laughs> Bagel store. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's tough, bro. And then this other guy, uh, I started, I make the edibles and yeah. I, have, yeah, I have good weed. Mm -hmm. and he's like, I'm a veteran. This. I'm like, all right, I'll give you one of my things. <laughs> I fucking, I loaded him up with like a fucking real, real hard starter pack. Yeah. Like, Don't smack anyone. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, we canceled my class on Sunday, canceled on Monday. <laughs> next thing you know, he was fired from the Y and like had a, dr a pill problem and his wife divorced him. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, really? Yeah. Holy shit. You so, think it was from that? He because he seemed legit before that, yeah. and then after that he started can canceling on me on a Sunday. Like that's, that's like a Dude. special class on a Sunday, you know. 
I got in college. I got high with one of my buddies who I hadn't gotten high with in a really long time. And dude, we were super stoned in this parking lot. And I'm talking about like Jeff Gordon, like peeling out, you know, like random <laughs> shit. Yeah. And like in the middle of the night, he was just like, dude, I can't believe I'm here right now. Like, <laughs> he was so upset. And dude, the next day, we, I had class and he was at his college. He had class. And I get a call, dude, and he goes, yo, man, like, can you pick me up from the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what? Like, I start laughing. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? He's like, yeah, man, some shit just went down. Like, if you can just pick me up. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to tell my mom. Like, if you just pick me up. And I was like, dude, like, are you hurt, man? Like, are you okay? And he's like, no, no, I'm talking about like the loony bin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, he went to uh, he went to the counselor at his school. And his school's like wicked liberal, bro. And they were asking him questions. And uh, I guess they were like, have you ever like thought about killing yourself? And he was like, yeah, like who, <laughs> who hasn't? And uh, they do, they called the ambulance to pick him up and like escort him <laughs> off campus, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Up, yeah. I was like, damn, dude, just for saying that, you yeah. know what I mean? I think if you like say like, if you like even like, in like non-intentionally say like that you like have thought of like what you've thought about like the way you're gonna go out then they'll just <laughs> but who like, has it yeah it's like dude who hasn't done that <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean it's like you never <clears throat> stand behind a cop at a gas station thinking about grabbing his gun yeah like yeah. fuck it <laughs> <laughs> yeah because he, he probably he yeah. probably like knowing him he probably just thought like they were like open you know like it was an yeah. open conversation he's probably like going into it like with dis like descriptive words and shit he's like <laughs> you know like painting a good picture dude but that was wild man like i hadn't we hadn't gotten high in like a real long time. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen him since? Yeah, he's my best friend. Uh, uh, well, the other guy was one of my good friends also. <laughs> I showed up at the wrong day and we haven't talked since. <laughs> That's tough, bro. But yeah, I, uh, I, I did therapy twice mm -hmm. with two chicks that asked me to. And I'm, for like relationship stuff? Or like, oh, just I'm out of control. Like, yeah. So I'll, I'll go talk to these cocksuckers. And like the one guy, I'm like, yo, I stopped drinking, stopped selling drugs, stop this, stop that. Yeah. The guy wanted to commit me to the MICA program in Coney Island Hospital, which my nurse friend said was like a commit, like committed your friend, your friend mm -hmm. got committed. Yeah, he wanted like to commit me. Where I couldn't even check myself out from being oh, wow. honest. And I'm like, yo, no wonder this country, everyone's on therapy. I'm like, yo, what's yeah. going on? Uh, the therapy, I'm complaining. Like, huh. no, you got to ease in. You can't tell them everything at once. <laughs> like, no wonder this country's <laughs> fucked. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm going in here, here. This is what's wrong with me. And the guy's trying to commit me. Yeah. You know, fucking cocksuckers. Yeah, I wonder why, man. Maybe it's for, like, <clears throat> insurance money or something. <laughs> I, I got, They're trying I got to Medicaid. <laughs> 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 Shout out <to> Obama. <laughs> Shout out, dude. Fuck, man. I don't even know if he's responsible for that. I just hear yeah. Obamacare. That's, I don't that's even know him, what that right? means. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how insurance works, man. I've been struggling with that, dude, even with my vision and shit. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, I'm like, do you guys want, like, a deposit? Like, what do you guys want? <laughs> <laughs> what are you chefing up, though, dude? Like, shit. The last episode we posted was chocolate chow mein cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I just I dig a high shit, but we do yeah. regular stuff like chicken piccata, parmesan, pizza. Yeah. But just like uh, we did like a milligram challenge once, mm -hmm. where pe we got people who were like six hundred, there's uh, thousands of milligrams. This one lady came down from <laughs> Connecticut. She was smoking wax on the way down. Came down, was drinking weed. Yeah. I'm throwing she, like bags of candy into the oh. crowd, and like people came to get fucked up. Yeah. And like she got lost before the show. Like you just ate two thousand <laughs> milligrams. Are you getting home? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but just just like whatever I can think of shit from TikTok that inspires me. <laughs> That's gotta be to so TikTok. exciting though, man. Huh? That's gotta be so exciting though, dude. <laughs> What about like the the prep and like where they goes into it? Like, are you hitting the supermarket hard? Ah, uh, well, I hit it on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> First name basis. Hey, Mr. Farrell, how you doing today? Yeah. <laughs> no, but just the, that's the thing also mm. because you can't fucking do like a fucking ten hour roast. The camera guy got a family, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. I, <laughs> We're doing a 14-hour brisket today. <laughs> Tell you, see you later. <laughs> so I try to do stuff like if I can have the spaghetti cooked beforehand. Little, I spent years watching the Food Network. High, I, I figured out some tricks. Uh, what's that dude's name? Fucking uh, the dude with the blonde hair. Guy Fieri. Oh, dude, that guy fucks, man. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I could probably jerk off to that guy's show, dude. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Dude, I'm going to open up a window because I'm sweating my tits off. Yeah, no, me too. I'm probably glistening. <laughs> It's been fucking beautiful this week. It's so crazy talking makes you sweat. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking dude. I don't even know what's going on, man. Like we get that nut sweat, dude. Oh man. It's game over, man. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you ever dude, you ever wipe your ass? <laughs> You're not even taking a shit. I, when I did wipe, <laughs> I'm, I'm past that. <laughs> I'm a bidet. I'm a bidet. Oh, guy. I thought you were just saying like you don't wipe. Oh no, no. My cousin <laughs> said that. I got thrown out of my mom's. I had to live with my cousin. He was a big guy, and he's like, yeah, you know. Uh, I, I was like, went in the bathroom. There was no toilet paper. And there was a huge fucking pump yeah. of nickel bread in there. I'm like, yo, what oh, the wow. fuck, man? You gotta wipe. <laughs> like he was a big kid. Yeah. He's like, no, I put one cheek on one side, one on the other. It comes right out. I'm like, it doesn't work like He's that. He's not wiping at all. Dude. <laughs> this guy's a legend. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was sleeping on a futon mattress on the floor. <laughs> Imagine saying that to like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> one cheek on the other. Honey, why didn't you wipe? I put one cheek on one side, one on the other. It just comes yeah. right out. You say that on like a first date. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, imagine how scary that would be for a woman to hear. <laughs> You're out to like some fancy dinner. You just tell her that you don't wipe your ass, dude. Bro, I'm I'm red in the face from trying to tell people about bidets, man. People are so obsessed. We've with had a, we have, we've had a few talks here, man, about them. <laughs> Bro, it's like people are so obsessed. They want to debate you about. Well, I mean, dude, from my research, my calculations, dude. <clears throat> you gotta do like you gotta drop some dimes, man. <laughs> On a bidet, bro. I used one like not too long ago, and it just made things worse, man. Damn. It just my ass just turned into like a mudslide, dude. Oh man. I shot the thing up into my ass, dude, and then I wiped, and it was like worse. Uh, maybe I should check. <laughs> <laughs> I think everything's cool. Yeah. Everyone's looking at me because of the stains in my pants. I was telling my boys, I'm like, dude, I should just hire like a power washing company. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> dude, that would be a funny phone call. <clears throat> <laughs> they're, like, they're like, what are we looking at for a job? <laughs> <laughs> Some asshole. Oh, yeah. Your brother-in-law? <laughs> Someone? No, my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be such a funny prank call, dude. <laughs> I had, uh, I used to work for UPS. I had this little helper, this little kid from the neighborhood. His parents did drugs when they had him because he's yeah. like this big with like a long leg. <laughs> you know, like one of those kids. Is he Guatemalan? <laughs> It was white, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but he could have been Guatemalan, a little darker skin tone, yeah, yeah. you know? And he had this, like, white person afro if someone who just didn't get a haircut, you know what yeah. I mean? And I would, I was stopping. I love playing lotto. And I'm like, yo, if I hit it, like, I want you to be my personal ass wiper. But, like, just run right between my legs with your little fucking afro thing. And yeah. then it turned into, I'll get him a shit color Lamborghini, like a brown Lamborghini. Yeah, like, up, dude. Yeah, like, he would be my shit wiper. And, like, we would get fucked up. I'd just start hanging out with him. <laughs> <laughs> and he would go around telling people. You know, yeah. and, and then he had these little mole fingers that turned into cleaning my toes out, putting my socks on yeah. and cleaning my belly button out also. Dude, is, L is Lotto like a scratch ticket or like the actual numbers that you pick? Numbers, yeah. Lotto. That got, that's got to be addicting, dude. Everything I see those boys addicting. go in there, dude, and they're fucking ready. Yeah, you I know? just dropping 20s on numbers. I love watching dudes do that, man, going to the gas station. And then you always see him, you know, like afterwards. with yeah. the, the I watch the dudes who get the scratch tickets oh, yeah, yeah. in the parking lot. They're just like so upset, dude. The, you know? the people that play the whole game, that's that's something wrong with you. You can scratch <laughs> the bottom and just check the ticket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Guatemalan dudes, they'll uh <clears throat> Guatemalan dudes are dope, man. My boy Joey, dude, he was the first friend I ever had, man. He was Guatemalan, dude. And when we were younger, dude, he, he had like female tits. <laughs> Like his tit, like the his upper tit would like extend like a female tit, dude. Like, it was wild. Oh man. Yeah, he looked like a like a supercuts manager, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot here. You tell me about your problem, like sweating more. 
Yeah, but dude, you ever seen? You ever, <laughs> dude, have you ever seen a dude with like female tits? I, I take my shirt <laughs> off from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> I own a mirror. <laughs> Nah, dude, you got mad titties, bro. You got <laughs> packs, bro. Dang. You can flex them a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just indigestion. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was fucking wild. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh. I tried. I yeah. didn't even know what was going to happen. I <laughs> pressed the button and saw my body. <laughs> that happened. Yeah. You, oh. sh- you shit your pants. <laughs> I'm like, all right, this will force my tits up. It'd <laughs> oh. be wild, dude, if fucking like AK-47 bullets just started coming out <laughs> of your tits. <laughs> Just fucking shoot up the walls. <laughs> when I drank, again, I always yeah. f- wanted to be rich. <laughs> and I would tell people when I win the lotto, yeah. I want I, lo- I love white Russians, like the drink. <laughs> you know the drink? I would drink pitches of it. Bro, like, do you want a fucking towel? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop sweating. <laughs> I, can get I was it. hoping it didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking tripping. <laughs> We're doing. I got this wrist brace on. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna burn like two thousand calories. <laughs> well, what not did even, you do today? I, it's not I even, talked. It's not, <laughs> it's not even hot out. <laughs> I saw people with winter hats on. <laughs> I'm still wearing my sweatshirt. People are wearing scarves. <laughs> <laughs> I was out all day in the sun, man. <laughs> uh, oh. no, I, so when I wanted to win the lotto. Again, I'm playing lotto after this. I'm telling you, this yeah. is going to be a lucky show. I wanted uh, a, a female body, very provocative, like mm-hmm. in a fucking, in the bar of my mansion or whatever. One tit, white milk. No, no, the under the vagina ice. <laughs> and, then, and then one tit, white milk. The other <laughs> tit, Kahlua. And it made white a white milk, <laughs> white Russian machine Wait, of the female anatomy. I love females of, and alcohol. This came out of a woman's tits? It would be the silhouette of a woman, and under a pussy, would the ice would come out, and then you go by the left tit for the milk, and then the right tit for the Kahlua. Oh. <laughs> and I guess you need the, someone for the vodka, but I, I never thought yeah. of that. <laughs> if, you, if you were rich, you're saying. Yeah, it's always this fictional yeah. imagination. <laughs> I thought you were talking about real life. I'm like, dude, what does this guy know? About? <laughs> <laughs> I want this little kid to wash my yeah. ass with his head and... A you take machine. me into like a Barnes and Noble, dude. You're like, come this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, open up one of the fucking bookcases, dude. <laughs> Damn, that would be sick, man. Yeah, I always think about like intrusive thoughts, man. Like I think about like I literally think about like m- somebody being able to like shoot machine gun bullets like out of their tits, dude. Like I'll think about that in like a professional situation. <laughs> and I'll just start laughing, dude. So I think something's for sure wrong with me, dude. No, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. <laughs> I was so great with you, but I'm just as I was saying, I already had to commit to the hundred <laughs> percent. No, I think the same thing, man. It's yeah. but we're we're not afraid to say we're thinking these things. Yeah. Everyone's holding it in, and they're not free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I, mean? I, I, dude, I want to know though, man. Like, I want to know what those normal people are thinking. <laughs> you know, that guy who works like a nine to five and goes home and like does everything for his wife. That guy's got to have like some crazy thoughts. Yeah, yeah let's see what his fucking <laughs> hamster X or whatever porn site he uses. What is he looking up? Yeah. I gotta do. I just want to know, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we all know what's going down. They just never, they never tell us, dude. They're like wound up tight. You only find out when they die, dude. Because they have like a stash of like, <laughs> <clears throat> like dead snails. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. a stash of like dead snails and like unfinished crossword puzzles. <laughs> you know? And you're just like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, but the po- crossword puzzle, it's all the hard words. He, didn't, he left out yeah. the easy words for some reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, like, super confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to figure it out, dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, you have, you have, like, a family and shit? Like, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, a Should wife and kids? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I got my girl and uh, a dog. <laughs> That's sick, dude. That's it. Legend, bro. Yeah, yeah. and I... Talk to my mom and my sister once in a while. Yeah. So you're cooking it up most of the day. 
yeah. just ripping bong and cooking it up, cooking, dude. Cooking, ripping, drinking coffee. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Trying not to gamble. <laughs> Legend, dude. Legend. How much money have you lost, like, gambling? Oh, man. Because <laughs> you look like someone who has, like, a bounty on them, dude. You know <laughs> I have, like, what I used to deal with the... Yeah. Offshore accounts uh-huh. had people threatening me, like, "Oh, give me my like, who's Carol Farrell? Give my mom's address." So I was like, "Fuck, how they? This is like pre-internet. Like, how they get this oh, address?" Yeah. This was like a bookie coming after you. Yeah, multiple times. And Damn. My one friend was like, his, his wife got pistol whipped, and ch- oh, he got pistol whipped. You know, oh, she got yeah. chased off the road, and yeah, people call, like these guys just calling me constantly, just threatening me. I'm like, what? like wow. in my head, I'm like. Italian mom took a hit Like it's more yeah. like Russian and Albanian You gotta be worried about You know yeah. like Damn It's hard when they're Threatening you When you know What's really going on you know? <laughs> You're like You're high as tits too <laughs> Yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I left my phone over there I don't even want to Log into my FanDuel account Because it'll mm. tell you How much I gambled Yeah Do you want to see it It's no, <laughs> dude. It's disgusting Dude I don't even understand it No no I'll tell you It'll tell you how much I've lost Oh how much you've lost Yeah Holy shit <laughs> It's well, an what obscene, a, yo, it's it's an obscene amount of money. Yeah, do you, dude? So are you like, are you making money and then you're like, all right, this is boring. Like I gotta throw more down and then you're losing money, or are you just um, losing like straight up? I just the past year and a half, just bad beats. And yeah. before that, and when it became legal in New York, is mm-hmm. when I got fucked. Yeah, because I was done with the the bookies when uh-huh. it, it was legal in Jersey. Uh-huh. So I was taking a shitload of money, driving to the Meadowlands and dropping a bomb. Mm-hmm. And then when I got home, I can't hurt myself. You know, I can't go yeah. and max out the account because I wasn't happy till the account was maxed out. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, because I'm a fucking maniac. Uh-huh. And then, boom, the, the parlay hits. You have to drive all the way to Jersey. Like, me and my buddy he would come with me. It's like, it was getting annoying to go yeah. pick up cash. You know, I was on a run, yeah. but I couldn't hurt myself because I, I couldn't gamble on the night games or mm-hmm. the West Coast games. And now it became legal in New York, and I gave all like, this uh, money back. Are there rules? Like, dude, what happened if, like, I went to the Kentucky Derby, dude? And I like bet on a horse, but then I paid a guy to snipe all the other horses, <laughs> and I won. Because <laughs> like I feel like the investment in the sniper might be cheaper than bro. You like I can, ju- I can just stuff. I can just pay him off with the money I win. You you bet on the longest odds horse. Yeah. <laughs> then you kill all the other ones, <laughs> and by the time you pay off everyone, yeah, you walk it away. Like with the payout's just gonna cover I never, half. I never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Like, I don't think there's any rules around that. About snipe it, no. Yeah. It's like, dude, it's not in the writing. It's not in the documents, yeah. bro. Like, give me my fucking money, dude. It's a dirt. That's a dirty industry, anyway. They're yeah. giving the horse drugs, grabbing their balls in their private areas. <laughs> they make yeah, them go dude. fast. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking, dude. They're doing deadlifts and shit <laughs> with boners. <laughs> yeah. You always see those movies too, where like they'll sneak into the den. And just fucking take a samurai sword out, dude, and chop off his horse's nuts, dude. <laughs> I think that's just from porno. <laughs> <laughs> I just, listen, back in the day, it, o- it was always the the girl that had sex with the the horse. And at, at the tail end of VHS tapes, when I was yeah. still buying them at lunch. <laughs> oh, that, no, it turned into the DVDs, I mean. Mm. And uh, it was a guy fucking a horse. Really? And I, I can never tell if the horse was real. What are we? Is this like a lifetime movie, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Cage is in it. <laughs> he was the horse. It's like, it's like Steven Seagal, dude. <laughs> Damn, that would be wild, man. Oh, man. You were talking about a prank before? <laughs> this is what I want to do. I want to take, like, let's, whatever, like, <laughs> with your guy friends. You don't want to do it with the chicks. Yeah. But smash up 12 blue chews. Mm-hmm. Let's say you had the boys over for the games. Yeah. And then you put mush- grind up mushrooms mm-hmm. and make fucking blue chew mushroom brownies. Oh, that. And you give them out to people. And then they hallucinating. And then the guys' <laughs> dicks are getting on. And yeah. the kid, they don't understand what's going on. Yeah. yeah, that would be wild, man. You could probably make that happen, too, pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. You could just put the blue chews in, like, the weed brownies. Yeah. yeah. Hand them out, yeah. And we put mushrooms in them also oh. so that people can't, under- they can't comprehend yeah. why they're getting hard as they're, like, tripping around them. <laughs> Yeah, that would be the gayest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about it. What are you yeah. gonna do afterwards? <laughs> all all ten dudes just come out of the closet. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you give them to chicks the blue shoes. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, it's got to like, uh, I don't know. It's got to like, uh, <clears throat> probably has like nitric oxide in it, dude. You know that shit that fucking like gets your blood going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to take those pills before the gym. 
Blue Chews? No, it's, uh, they're like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, pump, that, pump on, baby. I'm maxing out on the calf raise machine, dude, with like a heart on. <laughs> uh, no, I used to take these, uh, this was in like college, dude. They were like uh, nitric oxide pills, and they, uh, they just like uh, increase blood flow. Yeah. So you could get a better pump. <clears throat> dude, you want to get a, a raging boner, dude? Dude, eat beets. <laughs> beets? Yeah, like beet juice. Yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> thank Makes me. you shit red, thank, too. Thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, some chick's going to be like, this guy's hard as a rock. <laughs> and, and he shits red. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I remember... <clears throat> Before Blue Chew, I remember I ate a Viagra once. This chick was coming over, and then she flaked on me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck. But then my phone kept ringing. Like, people were buying weed. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to lose money. And like, I was having a hard on and I had a Maxima at the time. And I'm like, yeah. driving around with my hand on the shifter. Like, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> like, trying not to. Oh, you were in the car dropping it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And I was like, I, the shorty canceled on me. I got to make money. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I probably tugged one out, but Committed I was still to the lingering. Game, dude. <laughs> Committed to the game, bro. <laughs> Shit, man. We used to have to sell, like, uh, we used to have raised money for high school football, and we would, like, walk around this wicked rich neighborhood, and this guy answered the door, just me and my buddy. <clears throat> dude, white shirt on, like, up to his belly button, <clears throat> nothing below, dude. Raging boner. Just looked us right in the eyes. <laughs> like, <laughs> we just, like, we walked away, and then uh, his mom ended up coming outside. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, he's, he's mentally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's had an excuse. <laughs> yeah. And then, dude, kids, kids kept going to the house. You know, kids kept running, like, running the house. Because they were like, oh, because it was a nice house. So we were like, oh, we're going to go to this house to get some money, get some more money. And, like, we didn't tell him we already went. So they just kept showing up. <laughs> and he just kept answering the door, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Remember my cousin from earlier with the not the non wiper? Yeah. My aunt when we when I got thrown out, I was living there for like a year year and a half and like she you gotta get a job, you gotta get a job and he got a job at Subway. Yeah. And, but it was like it was owned by mm. an Asian franchise. He was the only white person there, you know? Yeah. I but I went in there and he gave me a smile and he, I'm like, Good for him, big guy, be on the counter comes home he's like they fired me you know he's probably eating all the meatballs or whatever it was yeah. and this subway delivered and i ordered the fucking buy two get one free and mm. they, they rang the buzzer he came upstairs and at the last second i just took my pants off and i had a white like a white five dollar t-shirt from back in the day you wash them and then they come up to your belly button yeah and like i look at the guy and i dropped the money and the money went in front of me and i'm looking at him and he looked down <laughs> and he had to go down he, like not my oh. dick hanging out but the bottom of my nuts and everything yeah. else and like just some sort oh. of solidarity for my cousin because they fired him because he's fat yeah. like fuck <clears> you <throat> yeah you know what i mean i felt so bad for the kid and he always brings it up to me like Legend, he remembers dude. this you yeah. know like when you tell me about the handicap yeah you're for guy. the boys dude yeah <laughs> Doing it for the boys man yeah that's always awkward man Dude, I took, like, a, a Muay Thai class for, like, three months, dude. No idea what I was doing. And we would have to, like, partner up in the class, dude. And I didn't have any friends, so I always had to get partnered up with this, like, fat chick. And we would do, like, sit-ups. And you had to, like, dude, you had to stand on the person's feet while they did a sit-up. And then they would stand up. So I was doing sit-ups with this fat chick. And I would just, like, literally just, like, sniff her, like, for JJ on the way up. And then go, I did it like that 25 times. How old? Have, I just like, I just never like, I quit like a week later, dude. <clears throat> they like wouldn't let me quit either, dude. <laughs> yes. Nothing will get you like, like a, like a pair of knots, dude. You know, have you ever, you ever <clears throat> have you ever spotted a dude at the gym? No, I just started getting into the gym recently. <laughs> I didn't get that far. <laughs> You should start walking around to like random dudes be like, yo, you need a spot. <laughs> I got you. I'll be over there <laughs> watching TV. Bro, that's how you that's how you build camaraderie, dude. You know? Just being like, dude, I got you, bro. You know? But hum, in that instance, after the first whiff, maybe the second whiff mm-hmm. of the sit up. Yeah. Like it didn't get you even if it's a little rancid. It didn't get you a little excited? Like, that smell of I couldn't really you. smell it, dude, because the gym already smells. Like, ah, I don't like, like that particular. The gym smells like that, like, times, like, 40, you know? So I'm not really smelling much. 
is just like the movement in general, uh, you know, because everyone's around you too, you know. If yeah, it was just yeah. me and her, dude, and we were like hanging out late at night and playing Twister or something, <laughs> I'd be like, let's get it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But just like that in public, you know, it's a little weird, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? It takes a, a, a real man <laughs> the pleasure of big shit. You know, I always say that because I, I take them down. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you got your... You live with a woman though, or it's just like your girlfriend? Yeah, we live together now. That's pretty sick, dude. Yeah. Yeah. We got a uh, quarantine together. We we're friends mm. before that. Yeah. How did that happen, dude? Like, um, you were with chicks before that you had to like go to therapy with, and then you I was just... in a bad relationship with her old roommate <laughs> from like back in the day. <laughs> yeah. And I had to hit her with my truck. It was fucked up, man. What? She made me though. You, know you hit her with your truck, dude. She made me, man. It was fucked up. <laughs> dude, <laughs> walk me through this. <laughs> All right, so don't lie to me either, dude, dude. No, no, no. We we uh we're going to Peter Luga in Queens to get Peter Luga burgers, which is the best, you yeah. know. And planned on maybe getting her a bike. Yeah. The day gets all thrown off. She's mm. throwing the scheduling off. We don't do we don't do that. We come home early. We fuck. I came too quick. Mm -hmm. She started bitching about that. I said, "Get the fuck out." I just had enough with it. Yeah. Destroyed my place the week before. The next day is like Memorial Day weekend. She's like, I want my bike. I'm coming over. I'm like, you're not coming here. So I bring her my bike and my truck. She comes running out, throwing my Jordan sandals at the truck. Yeah. I'm getting her bike out of the back. She goes in the car. I'm like, she's going to take my phone or something. Mm -hmm. She takes the keys and throws them over the fence of this sprawling backyard of this old Rockaway home, like these old Irish homes. So I'm like, fuck. And I know they had a bull mastiff and a Rottweiler, the, the yeah. owner of the place. Yeah. So I'm walking towards the backyard. She's like... I'm like, she's like, like jumping my face, like lunging at me. Like she would hit me and I'm not a pussy, yeah. but I, I can't hit a girl. <clears throat> so I'm looking at the fence to where the yard is. And she's like hitting the fence, attack, attack. I'm like, I used to work for UPS. I'd rather deal with these dogs than this crazy bitch. Yeah. So I go in the yard. I'm like, good boys, good boys. Like putting my hand out. Mm -hmm. I turn the corner. They come running up. They just start <laughs> smelling me. I'm like, all right, the do I'm, dogs are on my side. So I find the keys in this sprawling yard. I come back. She locked the gate. It's like a six foot gate. And I'm like full of adrenaline, just fighting these dogs. This bitch yelling at me, lunging at me. Yeah. And one bound, I grab the top of the fence. I hop over. She's fucking like trying to unlock the key now. I'm running to the fucking truck. And it's like a scary movie. Like, yeah. start the car, bitch, start the car. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm there. I'm looking at her trying to unlock the fence. I'm trying to start the car. I couldn't get the key in the thing because I'm like, it's adrenaline flowing through you, trying to get yeah. away from this psychopath. And she's walking to the car like Michael Myers, opens the door. I get the car started. I drop it at the second gear. Er! It's a dead end. She lives right by like this marina. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. So I turned around. She had this like Marvel outfit on, like this velvet cape flowing in the wind, a bikini on. She had the lock and the keys in her hand, steam coming out of her nose. She came up, started hitting the fucking light of my car. I reverse back. I see a little hole to the left. My Madden instincts kick in. I press L1, power stick up. I go that way. She lunges at the car. Boom. Fucking yeah. flips over. And I'm like Whoa. blowing the stop sign. But looking at the <clears throat> rearview mirror, you see it get up off the ground, go like this to me. What? And I get to the stop sign. I'm like, yo, I don't even drink anymore. I'm hitting bitches with my car. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and Damn. then she threatened to call the cops and shit. I drew a bunch of weed on my bike and got the fuck out. I wasn't getting arrested on Memorial wow, Day weekend. Dude. I just wanted to go out. And look at titties on the boardwalk yeah. on my bike. Holy shit! <laughs> I felt like I was there, dude. Sorry for the long-winded story, but no, it was dude. a lot. Like the and coming, like you don't understand. Like when a female wants to attack you, I know, yeah. I know they always talk about us attacking them, but like we. Oh yeah. I can't. What am I gonna hit her? You know what I mean? So I'm like Sorry, trying to, to start the yeah. car. I couldn't start the car. Like I'm yeah. like trying to get the key, you know, like in the, like a white bitch in a scary movie. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I just couldn't start the car. This was all just because you came too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> she's like, I'm sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened to your arm and your face? Ah, uh, he came too fast and then hit me with his truck. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Some chicks would kill for that. Man. <laughs> Someone's googling me right now. <laughs> you get a bunch of DMs, dude. <clears throat> That's what wild, man. There's you always know. a there's always a a crazy story, man, with chicks, dude. <laughs> They yeah. get, dude, they get at, chicks who like break stuff, man. It's just like, what are you doing? Like, you know. And I was cooking with a lot of pumpkin seeds at the time. Mm -hmm. Papitos, like this Mexican yeah. pumpkin, uh -huh. pumpkin seeds. I don't know why I was incorporating them in like many dishes. I just yeah. was on a pumpkin popitos kick. I had a huge, probably five pound bag, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And I was finding those things for days after she destroyed my apartment, like ripping the blinds. They're like real, just trashy shit. Like, yeah. we live here. <laughs> Now I will could see in. Yeah, <laughs> now I will could see you hitting me. Gotta let her go, dude. Huh? Gotta let her go, man. Oh and then, yeah. Uh, and then you met this chick. Uh, they used to be roommates. Yeah, back in the day. Did she like destroy that house or no? 
Yeah, probably. Yeah, she, she was yeah. going through like a lesbian stage then. Really? And like she would always tell me, because she had. I don't want to talk. Like I feel like nervous to talk. Like she's watching right now. <laughs> yeah, she like she lying. she would always be like. Like when I knew both of them and I was single, so I was swinging dick. This is going back a couple of years. And yeah. I was like, oh, she's like, you don't want to fuck me. I have an ugly pussy. And she, mm -hmm. you know, my girl, she's like, oh, you want to go out with her? She has a perfect pussy, like a 10 year old pussy. Not yeah. that I want a 10 year old pussy, but I understood what she meant. It was perfect. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she was right compared to us. It's a yeah. fucking. It's the, what can you like, what did it look like, dude? It was just extra, you know, like just, just a lot. It's almost yeah. like you ever see like someone trying to handle a big snake? Like, yeah. if you try to eat her out, you'd have to, like, throw one labor over one shoulder, one here, just to, like... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just, like, an expired roast, like a... Like, yeah. That, like an old Arby's roast beef sandwich yeah. kind of... And she was traumatized from it since a kid. She grew up in oh, Howard wow. Beach, this Italian neighborhood, and the kids would leave the roast beef on the, on the storm door handle, <laughs> and the parents would see it. Like, she would get emotional talking about it. So, like, I never... In all the times of fighting, I never went there, because that was, like, a trigger, yeah. like... she'll kill you in your sleep. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's the... One Dude. thing you don't talk about, yeah, I even though she knows like, you're thinking about. It. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be able to keep a straight, like a straight face, man. If someone's talking about like roast beef like that. <laughs> There's no way I'm keeping a straight face. Yeah. Especially, oh, dude. You kind of feel for her, though. <clears throat> you Other know, surgeries <laughs> that she could have. Had. Yeah. Just being born with that, though, dude. Yeah. You know, it's so it's so fucked up because they're so self conscious about it. And like, what was God thinking? Like, he, he created this other girl with a nice, perfect yeah. armpit of a pussy, and fucking and this other one is just yeah. That's tough, man. <laughs> you know, that's unheard of too. You but know, that's remember the yearbook. Yeah. I was talking about now we'd look at her picture, the pussy in the ass. I was like, all right, I'll keep going. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, what were her what were her armpits looking like, dude? Rough. Did it match up? Rough. It was rough. It she, matched up, dude. Yeah. It was like. And like almost she had like webbed toes too. It was weird. Damn, dude. <laughs> she had a lot going on. Yeah. Man. That's what you I she she was doing comedy, so I thought it would be like a comedic duo. Oh, yeah. really? She yeah. was doing comedy? She wasn't a, not in the scene. You know, like Oh, uh, all right. She was like in like Long Island. Yeah. There's a little scene in Long Island, but she wasn't she I, I had bigger plans, you know? Was this in uh <clears throat> was this in Long Island or no? Uh Rockaway. All right. I still don't know where that is. <laughs> Some people might. It's in Queens. It's by the beach. So you're like, dude, like you're a diehard like Mets fan, like you've lived here like your whole life. Yeah. Damn. Uh, dude. Mets, Knicks, Giants. What's it like, man? Just being that dude who like, you know, <laughs> always loses, bro. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet. You know, like yeah. you see people getting these heated arguments, and it's like, oh, thank God I don't need to do that. <laughs> yeah. I remember, dude. I remember when the Mets had like, <clears throat> where they had like Matt Harvey and like. Fucking Cindergard uh, and stuff, dude. DeGrom. DeGrom. Dude, was, that was crazy, we man. We had season tickets that year, my, me and my friends. Yeah, That's I wasn't tough. even really watching baseball that much, but when I saw that, I was like, damn, dude, all these guys are throwing, like, 98. Like, that's fucking crazy, man. And like, we got nothing from We lost to the Royals. Just to lose. The Royals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only thing I, I that my beef with... uh all the Yankee fans, like this is a dated reference because it's like 20 years ago, but when they went on that yeah. in the 90s run, uh -huh. like they, I would always ask, like, do you know who Danny Tartable was? Because he was a Yankee when they sucked dick. You know what I mean? Like 90, yeah. the year before they won, you know? Like, yeah. you're from Brooklyn, so you would have to drive past Shea Stadium or City Field to get to the Bronx, which sucks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As a, as a place, it's dangerous. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so geographically, you would drive to the Bronx. Like, they're all fucking bandwagon jumpers or whatever yeah. the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Like, you're driving past, you're going to add 45 minutes to your schedule to go to the fucking Bronx? Dude, what is it that's like, <clears throat> what do you think it is if you had to put your hand on it, dude, about like, like Jets fans and like, like, why, why are they so trashy, dude? You know what I mean? It's a losing mentality. Yeah. Do you think it's the area, though? <laughs> well, like, they just, they just all, like, kind of look the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's just me or not. No, no, no. In my neighborhood, the Jet fans, they have a look. They do. Like, 5 o'clock shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of stinky, dude. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's weird, man. It's like, yeah, what's like going old on? Old Navy carpet jeans. Like, Even when you watch, Rangers. when you watch the game, dude, like they always show the fans. You're like, th those guys are the same person. Like, yeah, fireman Ed wasn't even a fireman. <laughs> he just yeah. wore the hat. Like, what kind of fucking idiot are you? Yeah, it's weird, man. <laughs> Freaks me out a little bit, dude. Like, I don't know what to think about it. And that yeah. they lean into losing. You know, like they, they enjoy <clears throat> it. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, they're turning it around, but it's still like, it's kind of confusing. 
you know. Dude, I was in South Jersey um, last week, and my buddy was like, hey, listen, man, like, uh, drive there Friday, and uh, we'll sleep at my buddy's beach house. And he was like, my buddy's not going to be there. Like, he's just letting us sleep there. <clears throat> dude, we showed up to this beach house, man. Dude, guess how much this house was worth? Three? Dude. $10.5 million, bro. I've never seen anything like it, dude. Like 16 beds, dude, oh. like on the water. Where like was I, it? I couldn't wrap. It was in South Jersey, like uh, Cape May. Oh, yeah, down by uh, yeah, like close to the Atlantic City and shit. Yeah, I didn't even know where we were, but <laughs> I was like, dude, this is... Honestly, man, when I walked in that house, I was like, dude, I understand, like gold diggers now you know what i mean <laughs> yeah like it I makes sense them anyway. <laughs> yeah like it makes sense now i'm like oh wow this if i was a woman and i lived here dude be set for life bro it was crazy man i can't even like wrap my head around it. <laughs> they have bidets no ah. no bidets bro <clears throat> all that money and still wiping come on yeah maybe they just... <laughs> yeah, dude. maybe they just don't wipe dude you know <laughs> so you're telling dude you're telling me at your place you got bidets hooked up and yeah, I bought, I'm at my mom. I'm staying at my mom's right now because yeah. I'm doing some work. I bought huh. one for there. I got two in my condo, two in my house. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, are you laundering money or something? <laughs> 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 Jesus, man. I'm fucking drowning in fucking shit right now. Mm. I'm going through it, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I still got to make time for the bidets, though, dude. Yeah, listen. How much do they cost? Eighty bucks. Really, <laughs> bro. I go to these fucking five star resorts, not bragging, but like a nice hotel, a five star hotel. Mm -hmm. No detachable shower head and no bidet. It's like, I know there's washcloths, but like, I want to spray the dirt and stuff off me. Like, so, like, how do I, yeah. I, I feel dirty in these beautiful hotels? Like, until uh -huh. I get home where I can clean my balls and yeah. not have to wipe. Like, I, yeah. I just, I, I go, when I have to wipe, I, I get frustrated. I'm like, it's, hey, it's disgusting. I'm like, how, why are people still doing this? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are we doing here? Well, you still got to wipe after you use the bidet, right? Oh, you, you pat yourself dry. Just bare hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my girl's towel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Just yeah. like, you watch it. Dude, so you take a dump, right? You just contemplate the meaning of life and shit, and then you just press the button. Oh, you got to angle it, right? Oh, you angle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How long do you press the button for? I go in. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. make sure. I got a bigger ass. How much time are we talking? Depends. Because, like, last night I ate a lot of edibles. I was yeah. on there for a while this morning. Really? <laughs> Making sure I got everything out. Oh, dude, I thought it was just, like, a regular, like, splash. <laughs> no, yeah. no. So you're, like, power washing it, dude. I'm moving. I'm making sure I get, like, almost like a a pattern, you know, like a yeah. horseshoe. Like, we'll go around, I'm going to zigzag down the middle. It's and like just... an art form, dude. Yeah, it, wow. is, it really is, man. You look forward to it, you think? Nah, nah, nah. That's yeah. the thing. You say this at, like, shows or whatever, and people are like, oh, it's this, it's that. Like, no, it's it's about a clean asshole. It's not like, oh, I'm getting pleasure out of this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, you ever I... get your ass licked? No. Oh. I don't think I would be here right now. If <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, if I knew you did, I would have had you on, sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would not be here right now. It's a, it's a game changer. You know, and not that I asked for it. Girls tr wanted to lick my ass yeah, for whatever you're reason. Re you've been prepping for years. <laughs> you already know the game. <laughs> but, like, there's some of them, like, would, like, lick your balls. Actually, like, you're licking your ass. You're like, oh, it feels good. Then there's other ones that were, like, trying to, like, torpedo their tongue into your ass. Like, what are you doing? Like, stop. Like, you're trying to erect your tongue to go in my head? Like, yeah. that's... Just, do you listen about... <laughs> think about what I just yeah. said out loud. <laughs> I think I think if a girl did that to me, I would just kill myself. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. Yeah. Going anywhere near my asshole is like... It's like getting dropped in the middle of the Everglades, dude. <laughs> like, there's no way out. Like, you know? Yeah. Mentally and physically, like, you're done, dude. <laughs> like you <know>? Gabby Petito. <laughs> Dude, they would they would make a documentary. Oh, the, the Brian Laundry, that's the guy. That's <laughs> I thought you were talking about like Jerry Sandusky or something. No, no, the guy that killed his girl and then he killed himself in the National Park. Really? <laughs> the National Park, they they kill a lot of people get killed there, man. Yeah, yeah, but that's wild, man. The whole bidet <laughs> thing. We've talked about it a few times on the pod. And I just told you know, I mentioned like my experience with it, and uh, dude, it's not it's not even that popular, dude. You know. Bro, I'm you gotta spread awareness, dude. I've been I'm blue in the face, arguing with people. Oh, I yeah. do baby wipes. You ever uh, think about making your own and like selling it? 
<laughs> it's not a bad idea, dude. I know, but I, listen, I'm still in the early stages of being a bidet shill. Yeah. And like the Hello Tushy, that's the brand. I tagged them in post and they liked it. So I'm. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they used to have Joey Diaz as a sponsor. They, yeah. they had the CEO on. And you know Joey Diaz. Yeah. Like his content, I can't find that episode. It was one of the funniest episodes. This beautiful, mm. hot CEO of this bidet company yeah. on the church. And fuck, I, it's a, one of those. They, as a CEO, you can't be talking about what they talked about. It's an uh, a, yeah. uh, episode I can't find. Dude, we should reach out to him, man. <laughs> you know? That would be sick to be a, sa a salesman, too, for that. <clears throat> imagine how like dude imagine being like emotionally invested in something that you're selling i am i am yeah. like i'm passionate <laughs> about this like a comic yeah. a couple comics came over and actually bought some like they came to my house it changed their life and they they put it in <clears throat> and, wow. it's, and installed it themselves i never did that you dude, know, I is, so is it cool if i just come over man just to like take a shit <laughs> yeah upstairs that'll be, <laughs> be wild you're just like high as tits cooking like chicken breasts <clears throat> <clears throat> show up at like one in the afternoon you walk in there you're facing the toilet the wrong way <laughs> that would, dude that would be sick man that would be wild dude if it was a nice fall day out too oh, i crazy. gave you a little knock dude dude it's fucking brotherhood right there, man. <laughs> My this I, I was working with an autistic kid who was mm. helping me with like computer shit, uploading stuff, stuff I didn't yeah. know about. Uh -huh. And he would have he had, like he would eat like a red onion pepper mayo sandwich with cheese. Like what? Like yeah. would, and, like his stomach was always fucked up. It would come. He's like, Tommy, I got violent diarrhea. Like mush my girl's face out of the way, push me out of the way, mm -hmm. and it always went right to my bathroom to degrade it. Like so. Yeah. Like that was his thing every time. It's violent today, and push people out of the yeah. way to go. And like I would have like a like a bathroom clerk mm -hmm. or whatever, a bathroom cleaner. Yeah. I would like make a mental note of like hide the fantastic and then clean it so I could use yeah. the bed. Like golf a bit, I sat on the same bowl this animal did. You got to respect the temple, man. You <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, the amount of thoughts I've had taking a shit. <laughs> there's like the like you know those are the best thoughts, man. Yeah. You just like contemplating the meaning of life while you take a shit, dude. <laughs> Everybody like undermines that, bro. You know, it's like you gotta re you gotta respect it, dude. You it's, know, it's a sacred space, man. Dude, it's the only place I feel like, as a man, <clears throat> you can contemplate the meaning of life safely. You know what I mean? Like you can't be doing that anywhere else. You know, you can't be doing it out in public. No. Like you gotta be in. You gotta be on the shitter, dude. It's the only time you get complete privacy. Yeah. I mean, dude, my perception of things is like so messed up too, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, dude. Whenever I try to have, like, a beautiful, like, lifetime movie moment, it's just, like, it's the exact opposite. Dude, I remember one time I was, like, going through some shit, dude. This was in Rhode Island. I'm just, like, going through it, man. So I'm like, you know what, man? I'm just going to go outside. <clears throat> I sat on my hill, dude. And I'm just thinking about life and stuff. And I just start, like, romantically taking these rocks. And I'm just, like, throwing them as, like, as far as I can in the air in like one direction dude i did that for like 10 minutes and i get a call from my friend joey and he goes he goes yo dude are you throwing rocks right now <laughs> i go maybe he goes dude you're putting holes <laughs> you're putting holes in my grandma's house <laughs> dude his grandma lived a street over like directly parallel with my house I was literally putting holes in her house. <laughs> and uh, he's like, yeah, man, just stop that shit. And I was like, all right. <laughs> like, it up. went from me trying to have, like, a beautiful moment to that. And I was just like, dude, I'm fu I'm retarded. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, dude, the shitter is just like, it's where the boys fucking, you know. I wish I was, like, inquiring because I'm doing some, some renovations right now. Like, if I get a thicker door, like, why is it not more soundproof for everyone? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're not the only one going hard in there. There's chicks. There's well, let me let me ask you, dude. Are you going hard, or you do you kind of get like a little insecure in there? A little insecure, cause I'm a big guy. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> she's already dealing with that. <laughs> yeah. So you, fucking, yeah, you take it easy a little bit. It can't be fucking AK-47 and shit yeah, in there, yeah. like, and then come out looking like this, <laughs> tripping <Yeah>. sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are we watching tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who I am as a person, you know, because yeah, yeah. you're either the guy who just goes off or you're the guy who kind of like times a little bit. Dude, if you're in a public place, 
do you wait until the person like next uh, to you leaves or you just like let it uh, rip? I, I, I was a truck driver for UPS yeah. for a while, so yeah. I was doing a lot of shit in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so it's completely just, naked. It's my, just my, at home. Yeah, you're like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I I prefer in public to make a scene. <laughs> so they're gonna be like, because you're gonna be talked about. They may not know you, but like, yo, yeah. there was something wrong with the guy <laughs> yeah. all next yeah. to me. You just I come out okay. with a straight face, dude, and just start looking people dead in the eye, dude. <laughs> That's how you gotta do it, man. Because yeah. you don't even know those people. So no, it's no, like, no, whatever, no. man. Yeah. <laughs> But like the public one, I love as loud yeah. and vicious as you can. You're get. trying to soundproof your bathroom, though. Well, but why not? Yeah, I feel like that'd be kind of hard. Dude. You need some thick walls, bro. <laughs> or some insulation or something. <laughs> like what? I, the fact that it's like that little like you can see under the door, under yeah. the door. Like how? Why? Why isn't it like? Yeah. Private. You know what I mean? Like you feel safe with your thoughts, with your life, with yeah, whatever's going on. You know, like I mean, a, dude, as a as an older man, what is like the most valuable thing in your house besides the bidet, dude? Fuck. Probably some of the weed I got. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just mean like home, for, like for like you know what I mean, like home renovation type stuff. Oh. Like Lowe's, Home Depot type stuff that you've invested in, where you're like, dude, this is what every man needs. I bought an above ground pool from the last tenant. <laughs> really? Yeah. Shit, man. I bought a smoker recently too. What's that? Like, just like the smoked meat and shit, like ribs. Oh, like a fucking grill? Like a Traeger. I, I bought it for a tax write-off, hopefully. <laughs> I went in all in with like this expensive yeah. one, and hopefully be able to write it off. Wait, so how do you cook on that thing? Is it like... It's you, you fucking low and slow for like four hours, five hours, seven so hours. You need the, uh, you need the actual like charcoal? No, they, they sell these like wood pellet... It's oh, like, it's just wood? Yeah, these little pellets. Yo, phenomenal ribs. Really? Steaks cooked to fucking like perfect temperature in the middle. It's Fuck. really like it's a real and I got the one with the app. So I was like I was on the beach and it's like, oh low pellets. I had to run up from the beach, put more yeah. pellets in. You, know, you like, ever have people over and like cook for them? Yeah, a couple of times. What's that like, dude? Uh I love it. It's like a little pressure. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, it's pressure of hitting a home run or yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, when I get older, am I going to be that guy who, like, invites people over and, like, cooks for them and shit? <laughs> I, listen, I, it's it's tough. You know, yeah. like... It seems like a lot of pressure, dude. You know, yeah. but it just feels like... It seems like it's, like, kind of, like, cool, dude. You know what I mean? Once it, once once the kitchen's done, yeah. I'm going to have guests again on the show. Definitely have you come down. Fuck yeah, dude. I'll deal with some, like, Rhode Island... I just show up blasted, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's the bidet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just drive through your garage, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick, dude. Just hanging with the boys, eating fucking ribeye, dude. Oh, hell Just yeah. talking about tits, man. Yeah, yeah. That'd be sick, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, just wrap this up. Yeah, it's been an hour, dude. Ah, awesome. Yo, thanks for having me, man. Uh, yeah, dude. Sorry for sweating so much. <laughs> no, man, that was hilarious, man. I think we were just laughing, you know what I mean? So that's always good, dude. Yeah, just yeah. sweating from laughing, dude, you know? That's always good, bro. <laughs> But yeah, dude, I appreciate you for coming on, man. Yeah, and appreciate this uh, this bond that we formed, dude. My man, as men, dude. Hell yeah! And uh, listen, get the bidet. Yeah, I gotta save up a little bit, dude. Uh, you know, I might have to get like a loan or something. Christmas is coming, maybe. Listen. Yeah. I got you. I mean that. That'd be sick, man. Bro, <laughs> I because you're always gonna remember this moment, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That would be wild, man. <laughs> I got you. That would be a movie, dude. I got you. But, yeah, dude, thanks for coming, man. If you have anything you want to, uh, like, promote or anything, just let it rip, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Check out my uh, Weed Cooker Show, THC TV with Big T, on <clears throat> YouTube, everything Big T, on Instagram, Big Tits, Thank Big you. Picks, <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, <clears throat> as always, please subscribe, and uh, thank you.